Hello and welcome to a new episode of SwiftUI Elements. Today we will have a look at the picker element. So let's start. So first, for what do you need a picker? Um, if you have different options in your app and you want the user to pick one option, then it would be the best uh, fit to use the picker element. And let's have a look uh, how the picker element works. So the picker element uh, has uh, different initializers. And um, for now, I would use the first one. Um, I would. It needs um, a localized string, a title key. It's basically um, when you use it in the form, the, uh, the string which gets displayed. So for this example, I just call it picker. And then I need a binding um, which is hashable. So for that, I will create a state private bar. Uh, I let's call it picker selection. Use integer for now and initialize it with a default value of zero. And here we need dollar picker selection because we need the binding of the state. And then the content and the content basically is uh, other options which will be displayed to the user. So um, here I will use text. Uh, let's say we have option one and let's create some more, two, three. And as we can see in the preview, the, the standard one, uh, the picker gets displayed. And if I tap on it, um, it expands with the options over that. That's the basic, uh, the default uh, version of a picker. So, but, um, Okay, let's add something else. Uh, we need a V stack just for uh, layouting purposes. And uh, on top of it, I will place a text uh, to show the, the selected value. Um, selected value. Uh, selection. So that you can see if I change the selection that the value changes. So with that basic implementation, when I pick something, nothing changes. And you can see option one stays as it is. Um, I can click on option three and nothing happens. So why is that? That's because we need to tell the picker um, if you select the text, which value it is. Therefore, there's the text. And uh, the tag can basically be everything you want. Um, for this example, I would say this is zero. Uh, the next one, or the next one is tag one, and this one is tag two. And with that little change, when I now select the other option, you see the value changes. So for so it is not that confusing. Let's start with a one, two, three. So it's basically the same as option one, two, three. So here you can see it, the value changes. So that's a basic picker. But now you maybe want to display it in a different way. And for that, uh, there are picker styles. And you have uh, some uh, predefined ones. As you can see, you have the automatic one. You have the inline one, menu, navigation link, palette, segment, and wheel. Um, so let's start with the inline one. Um, that's the basic wheel thing. Uh, you know from iOS, um, you can move it around and the value changes. Then what's next, we have a menu. Let's do it that. So you can see nothing changes here. So the default one is the menu one. What else do we have? We have a navigation link. So let's switch to that. And as you can see, um, it renders a form element. So um, let's add a little bit of padding. So it looks a little bit nicer. But uh, as you can see, it's grayed out. I can't do anything with it. So um, as you know, a navigation link only works within a navigation stack. So um, let's put the navigation stack around it. And then you will see 
the UI changes, it gets activated. And when I tap on it, um, a new screen uh, gets pushed and with the options and I can select. And when I select one, it gets immediately uh, popped and you return to the initial view. So that's really nice if you want to create different kinds of form elements. Um, that's the navigation link style. So what else do we have? We have the palette. The palette um, normally only works with a menu. So let's see if we can say we put menu we haven't talked about. Uh, we will talk about later in a different video. Um, Menu. It needs a title and a content. Here also, let's say menu of content. Down. So a menu is here. And the, 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 the special thing uh, about a palette is um, if you can, uh, uh, you can scroll it. You can display multiple options. Also, the space is not enough. Um, uh, this uh, version of a picker, you can see uh, basically when you can, uh, in some apps, when you can pick colors with the dots or something, um, then you probably would use a palette style. But for now, um, we will talk about the menu in a later video. So let's remove the menu for now. And as you can see, a palette changes outside a menu to a segmented uh, picker. So when I, I think almost the last uh, style we have, it's a segmented one. See it here, I can switch. It gets the typical slider. And we have the last one, but we did already see it. It's the wheel. And that's the, the wheel option here. So that's basically uh, so that uh, is the basic picker uh, we have in Swift UI. We have additional pickers um, like a date picker. So let's check that out now. Um, for that, I will remove almost everything and say date picker. Also here a title and a selection. Title is date picker. And as you can see, now we need a, a selection, a binding of a date. So let's create a new um, state, a uh, date selection. It's a date. And we initialize it with now. And then again with dollar date selection, we add it here. Now it takes some time and apply uh, the heading again. And as you can see, um, this normal thing is uh, like in a form, you get the, uh, the title in, up in front, then you have one button with the date and one button with the time. When I uh, tap on the date, you get a normal date picker where you can select month, year, and stuff like that. You can change the date here. And with the time, it's the same. I can tap on it. I get a real representation of the of the time. I can also change that. And um, let's see what uh, what uh, styles we have here. Uh, date picker style. Uh, that's the same like uh, like a normal picker. So let's have a look. We have compact, graphical, and wheel. So let's start with the compact one. As you can see, that's the standard one. Um, what else do we have? We have the graphical one. That's basically uh, displaying the, the date picker and the time picker in the inside the, the or as an inline element. Um, what a little uh, that's a little bit crazy here. I don't know why that doesn't render correctly. Okay, interesting. But basically, oh, when I select one, it gets 
expanded. Um, I will have to check why it's behaving like that because normally it should directly expand. Maybe that's an issue with the preview. I, but I will write it in the comments later um, or in the description of the video when it's up on YouTube. And um, yeah, what else do we have? Graphical and we have the needle one and that's the pretty old um, date picker, which we have here. So one other option we have, we can, can add uh, the display components. So if you say you want just want the user to uh, select the time, you could say display components and then hours and minutes. And then we get only the time pick at time wheel. Um, what else do we have? And if you want on, only want the date, select the date and then you get the date picker. When I remove the style, I get the standard one. And you can also see here, it changes. Yeah. <laughs> minute and here you get the hour and minute. This is how you use the picker in Swift UI. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe and like it so we can do additional content here. And if you have special requests for content you want to see or tutorials or something else, write it in the comments and we will have a look and try to cover the topic. So that's it for today. Bye bye.